Hey everybody, so I am an amateur-ish uh, YouTuber and podcaster, and I wanted to set up my own setup to upgrade my podcast. Um, I have been using a microphone such as the CAD. This is a this is not a very expensive microphone. It's I just looked up USB microphones, and this one plugs right into the USB port of my. MacBook Pro that's behind me um, and right away it recognizes it I'm able to use it the sound quality is pretty good uh, I was getting some comments that there was a hissing sound or a popping sound I contacted anchor I do my podcast through anchor and asked them if it was something that other people had talked about or maybe it was just my equipment and they said well we've checked everything out everything looks good on our end maybe it's your equipment which is possible um, I think the microphone only sent me back like 20 or 30 bucks. It wasn't very expensive. So I thought, okay, I need to get some better microphones. And I'll kind of show you what I got here. Let me spin around. So this is a Behringer uh, Ultra Voice Dynamic Microphone. The way this is made is you're supposed to talk right into the front of it, not from the sides. This other one, you can talk into the sides. This, is, this one's designed with microphones on the sides, so you talk into there. So this one is more of a direct line of rah, 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 rah. It, it picks up everything through here, all right? It's got one of these different kind of plugs that plugs into a mix board. Now, I didn't know what kind of sound board to go with, so I did a lot of research on YouTube, like a lot of people do, and found it more confusing than helpful. The problem is, is a lot of people have a port on the side of their computer that has a microphone and a uh, headphone jack. This is a MacBook Pro and it only has a headphone jack. It does not have a microphone jack. So that wasn't gonna work for me. Um, I had read some comment where somebody said that the, micro that the headphone jack could be used as either. That is not true. That does not work with this. So I needed to find some other way to get the information coming through the soundboard to get onto the computer. Now, they do make one of these. This is a Behringer um, Xenix, X-E-N-Y-X-802. They make one of these with a USB built into it. And I was watching a guy's video and he didn't have one of those, he had this one. And he made it look like it plugs right in the computer, and when I got it, I looked all over the, the machine to find the USB part of it, and it doesn't have it. So that was disheartening. Um, what I did find, though, was that a lot of people were using this. This is a Behringer, let me turn it around so you guys can see it, Behringer UCA222. This has an input for left and right, and it's got a thing here where you can monitor your sound and have it plug into your headphones. Now, again, I am not an expert. I am just learning this stuff as I go. I plugged in the left and right, um, and then plugged them onto the mix board under two track. This is the one for output, because I figured that what's coming out of me needs to go into here, through this wire, into this machine, and then this machine has this black wire that plugs into a USB port into my laptop, all right? Now, Okay, so I have my microphone plugged in, and it's plugged into channel number one. And this has a power cable that comes out of the back of here that I got plugged into a power strip. This gives this soundboard power. Now, playing around with the microphones here, whenever I go to use this microphone, I turn this bottom knob up to the middle part. And I can hear myself through headphones, which I have in a headphone jack up here, okay? This headphone jack is just one wire, it comes in and goes to these headphones. I bought this in a package deal when I bought this UCA222. It came with headphones and some wires, and the headphones actually are pretty decent. Even though they feel like they're pretty cheap, they're real light, um, the sound quality is not bad uh, for being, you know, kind of for freebie headphones. Um, so anyway, that's plugged into the headphone jack. I've played around with some of this to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't work. And my main goal for doing this was I wanted to be able to have a podcast with two people. I got a microphone here and I got another one for here. I got those underneath the drawer here. Um, that way, if I have a guest, I can have them sit over here and they can be on with me 
but then I've got my I've got a, a, a section of cables connected where I can have a phone interview okay I have an iPhone 10 so of course I have to have the dongle that fits a connector that splits okay this is just a splitter that goes into two separate lines one of these lines let me get it here one of these lines has a microphone on it and one of these lines has a headphone on it okay that's obviously so that the person on the phone can hear you and can talk okay that makes sense right so if you follow these lines the talk one goes up here and plugs I plugged it into line three where it says mono see that word mono I plugged it in the left mono that way when they talk it comes through the line think about this now this is how I thought about it when I did it through the line to the one that says microphone okay the one that says headphone, I got coming through the wire, and this is a set of wires, it's two of them, okay? As they go down and they come up here, I tried them out in different areas. First of all, I tried them out in the stereo auxiliary return, because it sounded to me like they could hear me through stereo auxiliary, right? Not the case. When I plugged them both in, I could hear the person on the phone, but they couldn't hear me, okay? So what I did was I plugged the left one into the black wire, which is mono again, right? And then the red one I plugged into my main out for right. Now, when I had the phone call on, I had to adjust my levels down here so that they could hear me and I could hear them. But now I was able to record on... See, I tested this out on GarageBand just so I could hear what it sounds like, and I'll just give you an example. It's 12.30-ish. This is my and wife talking Charles to me are actually coming sometime. from another oh, room. Exactly they're going to get there tomorrow. They're not going tonight, though. And that's with her voice but you and I through the phone, through the soundboard, into the, the computer, on the garage band. Night, so that should give you the and it sounds good. To do a podcast with Charles. So... The main reason I wanted to do this video is because a lot of people are kind of dealing with the same things I'm doing. They're amateurs and they're learning and like me, you just sort of figure it out and you know, if we don't share this information, how is anybody else going to learn? Um, this is what I've done to make this work for me. I now have the ability to do a podcast with somebody next to me and I have the ability to do a phone interview, which is what I ultimately wanted because... With my podcast, it's called uh, Stuff I Heard, in case you don't know. Um, with my podcast, I wanted to be able to contact people who don't live near me or can't quite get over to the house, but still want to be part of the podcast. This way, their sound quality is directly lined into the computer, because I'm sure you guys have seen it in the past where I've like held a microphone up and like talked into it and held the thing up to the thing and hoping, hoping that my phone would have enough volume to get their voice into the microphone. What ended up happening was it sounded really terrible and it left a buzzing noise. I think what happened was the microphone picked up the sound from the phone and some of that electronic interference kind of messed it up. This should work a lot better. This should sound a lot better. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody else. Um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, tell your friends and we'll see you on the podcast.